What's up, everybody? Doc Dog went on A5. There's levels to this. Okay. All right. I I try I tried to warn you. I tried to tell you. I I I, I did. I did. Once I once I realized and once I saw it, I I tried to warn you. I tried to tell you. Xbox does not care about the console gamer. They have proven it with their actions. Don't worry about what they say. Worry about what they're actually doing. They're proving it with their actions. Now, I get attacked being a flip-flopper, all this other stuff. All about. Listen, I've seen people on my channel saying, Doc, because you're no longer an Xbox uh, console fan or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and unsubscribe. And I got to be honest with you, it breaks my heart. Every time I hear somebody say they're going to unsub, a little piece of my heart just cracks a little bit more, right? I'm like, I'm probably like right here right now, just about to just, just be heartbroken completely. But what hurts me even more is all of you that are still believing in Xbox, you still believe in Xbox, and, I, and, and, here, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to make this clear. Indiana Jones going to PlayStation and becoming multi-plat in itself is not the problem. The problem is the lie. That's the problem, right? The lie is the problem. Okay. Not only that, but the way they announced it, they don't care about you. They don't care about the console gamer. If you are a PlayStation 5 owner, you as a console gamer, there is no denying that you are winning. Not is any Xbox gamer out there that's gonna try any Xbox console gamer is gonna try to deny this. Shut your mouth, you're gonna look stupid. If you are a piece a, a PlayStation a PlayStation gamer because you like consoles, you are winning. You understand that it's not just about games going to PlayStation that are Xbox games. It's about games that are skipping the Xbox console. See, myself as a PC Xbox console gamer, right? Or some people hate when I put the Xbox caveat on it. So me as a PC gamer, I still get to play the games that the Xbox gamers can't play if you're on console. And I still get the same game pass at a cheaper price with more perks. Like, what are what, what are, what are, what are we doing? I want you to open up your eyes. I pride myself on being able to have a following and a, and, and, and a group of subscribers that open their eyes and see exactly what's happening. Now, if you know exactly what's happening and you're okay and you're, and you're willing to take it, that's perfectly fine. But if you're following Xbox blind, open your eyes. They don't care about the console gamer. No console required. I didn't say it. Xbox said it. Indiana Jones coming out December 9th. But it's also coming out on PS5. And not only that, they said, and one more thing, they could have had that secretly as a subtitle for people to have to read. To sneak it in. No, no. They made sure it was its own separate announcement that it's coming to PS5. Who do you think this affects? The people that are playing Xbox games on PC don't care. They don't care. But if you're a part of this console war stuff, this is a slap to your face. They don't care. And again, if it was just that, that Xbox is now making games multiplat, that's one thing. But how about you take your money and your resources to make sure that all games drop on the Xbox Series X and S? How about you do that instead, Microsoft? How about you make sure that these games that are hits, hits, Right? This game right now is a hit. Baldur's Gate 3, a hit. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that they can drop on the Xbox platform. How about you put your resources into that? But they, don't, they don't. You know why? Because they, they, they don't care. The install base of the Xbox Series X and S is insignificant. They don't care. Indiana Jones calls way too much money for it to be placed on just the install base of the Xbox Series X and S and PC. They're also going to need every single other platform. This is, this is what they need to do. Make this multi-plat move beneficial for Xbox gamers. Doc, how? How do you do that? This is how you do that. You make everything multi-plat now. Drop Halo Infinite on PlayStation right now, like I said. Allow more people to play that game. Maybe more people playing that game will revive that game a little bit. Drop more people, more, 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 all the Gears of War on PlayStation. Just do it. Just, 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 do, you might as well just do it. And 
And please don't do, we've been saying it with PlayStation as well, this timed exclusivity is one of the dumbest things you could do. Just get rid of that. Drop, if you're going to drop games on the PlayStation, drop them day and date. Drop them day and date. Why, 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 what's the point of waiting? You think that somebody is going to go ahead and, and, and buy an Xbox or an Xbox Series X because they can't wait four months for your game? Are you out of, are you out of your mind? If they got a PlayStation, go ahead and drop the game while it's still hot, day and date. If you care more about your software, that's what you should do, Xbox. To all my Xbox fans over there, I'm telling you right now, if you are strictly a console gamer, if you are strictly a console gamer, the only thing that's for you on the Xbox side is Game Pass. And what's crazy is I've been saying that since day one. One, Game Pass, Game Pass, Game Pass. That's the only thing that's exclusive as of right now for you. But the amount of hits that you got to take for that benefit as an Xbox console gamer, that's it, is crazy. I'm going to tell, tell you something else, okay? Every single other person that you're going to see that's going to try to spin this or defend this, that's an Xbox content creator, okay? If they're playing, I'm telling you, listen to me right now. If they're playing Wulong, on their very powerful PC, you could tell them to go screw themselves. And you could tell them that I said it. Because they don't have the same issue that you have. It'd be real easy for me to come up here and lie to you and be like, oh, this is not that big of a deal. We know the Xbox games are already going to PlayStation anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Blah, 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 blah. It, it doesn't even matter. They'll get to play it. They'll have to pay full price. We get it on Game Pass, this and that. While today, while today, I could go ahead and, 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 and play Wulong. On the platform that's not Xbox because Xbox doesn't have it. You see how disingenuous that is? So anybody that's going to tell you that there's nothing wrong with this or that this is not that big of a deal, they're missing the point. It's not the point that Indiana Jones is going to PlayStation as well. No, no, that's not the point. The point is that there's games going everywhere and there's games skipping your main platform. That's what you need to be mad about. The amount of money, the amount of energy, the amount of, 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 of thought that went into figuring out whether or not they should put games multiplayer, they should have used that resources to figure out how do we get games on our own platform first for our Core console gamers, but they don't care about you. They're going to charge you more, give you less when it comes to Game Pass. And then when games don't go to your platform, eh, it is what it is. They'll drop games that aren't even ready at 30 frames per second. Eh, they'll be okay with it. The level of disrespect is ridiculous. That's why I moved to PC. You could call me a flip-flopper all you want. But what I'm not is an idiot. Dog dog went on A5. There's levels to this. To all my Xbox fans, I want you to understand this very clearly. If you see what they're doing and you understand what they're doing and you just don't care, that's perfectly fine. It's your prerogative to keep getting screwed over. I'm not mad at you. It's up to you. Okay? If you're an Xbox fan and you do not see what they're doing and you still think that they care about you as a console gamer, I'm sorry. We are not very bright. We out. Peace.